Teamu AliExpress Gaming Setup. Extended intro Teemu versus AliExpress. But which gaming setup is the best? Today we spend hundreds of our dollars to find out which one gives you a competitive edge in your favorite games. Today's video is brought to you by Nexigo with their new Aurora Pro. The Nexigo Aurora Pro is one of the best in class ultra short throw projectors that has brilliant visuals with a massive screen at up to 150 inches. It features a triple laser engine which is the future of movie watching with true cinematic colors that bring every scene to life that can produce over 1 billion colors covering an impressive 107% color gamut. One of our favorite features is the Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support and this projector has some of the most amazing sound quality I have ever heard on such a small device. You can seamlessly bridge high quality video content with Dolby Vision for superior image quality, vibrant colors, and enhanced contrast. And on top of that, it features four 15 watt speakers that support Dolby Atmos, allowing you to integrate beautiful sound. This projector comes with built in smart capabilities and it also has the ability to use a Roku or similar 4K TV stick. So, guys, make sure to try to pick up one of these projectors while you can. They will be $26.99 straight on Nexigo's website. Let's get back into this video. What we have right here is a Timu setup and an AliExpress setup, and we did Timu versus Wish, and Timu came out on top, but can they beat the legend themselves, AliExpress? Which one do you want to open first? You know, this one looks more obvious, so I think we should open it, because it's like already practically opened. I like this one because I got a bonus mouse pad too. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Let's start with AliExpress. With any gaming setup, you obviously got to start with the mouse pad. I'm just really excited here, guys, because this is a fun mouse pad. So um, this one's actually good. Good mouse pad. You can feel that thing. The thing is, that, that's got yeah, some sturdiness it to it. Good. This one, on the other hand, <laughs> is uh, is different. Ugh. So this is one where you saw it and you're like, I have to order this, but I can't use it. Yes. This is Fortnite. This is Fortnite. So are you Fortnite kids out there? Happy first anniversary Fortnite extended desk pad limited edition. Really? It's mm. limited edition? No, I don't think it is. I, mean, I guess it is kind of old. It was three dollars, so that gives you. Um, well, any context of what's it's going so on here. It's so thin that it just wants to like move. But yeah, you can open up the other one as I pull up the prices of everything here because I tried to keep the budgets as close to the same as possible, but there were some things that were just significantly more expensive on one place versus the other. So for the Timu gaming setup, we spent $233. And for the AliExpress setup, we spent $207. It was really hard to spend more money on AliExpress. I'll be honest with you. Stuff was just really cheap. That's our, that's our AliExpress. Ooh, this one's cool. This this one's really sick. Dude, it's a keycap. It actually looks oddly similar to this keycap. Honestly, key I think it's, it's the same. A switch. Man, my head's foggy. I called that a keycap. Um, I don't have the link for this one anymore, <laughs> um, <laughs> but this one's really cool. I, I got this because I knew this would be a cool like overhead mat at some point to use on the uh, our overhead this camera set Good for a keyboard overhead, you Very know? Very cool. Is this a Switch? If I had to guess, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this, but I don't know. But hey, we got the mouse pad. That's good to go. And you don't need to go on the mouse pad, a 61 key mechanical keyboard. We probably have. We probably have. It's, there's a it, very it, it high feels probability. feels familiar. So this one's called the Mukai MK61 Mechanical Keyboard Red Switch, and it was $16. I don't remember picking blue as the color because I was trying to make these somewhat color coordinated, but I, I guess I, yeah, no, like I definitely paid for that. So I definitely paid for a black version and we got a blue version. Okay. Good job, AliExpress. I mean, hey, it's got flip out feet, USB C detachable cable. We got red, I'm assuming these are red switches, unless they're like yellow or something. Oh, wait, is it hot swap too? Oh, I hot swap. I think it's hot swap. How much would we pay for this? This was $16, by the way. Oh my God. Which we've noticed on AliExpress, mechanical keyboards are cheap, cheap. Definitely a lot of the Amazon resellers get their keyboards from like an AliExpress or Alibaba. Oh my god. We're gonna break the keyboard Dude, before I we just, can even I don't know man. Is someone else gonna try it? Yeah, is it even worth it? I'm gonna try one more like just just one one. These more. are they're a box switch. Okay, that nope, I'm done. In there, man. Nope, I'm leaving it. There is a theoretical chance <laughs> those can come out, but for us, it's staying It doesn't in there. feel good. It doesn't feel like it's doesn't gonna work out good. well. Alright, so we'll give you all a little bit of an audible test here to make sure we got what we got and uh I will I will say it's 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 quite clicky. We got what we got. We got what we got, but um, yeah, I thought I ordered the version that was black and not this blue color to kind of match what's going on here, but we got a Red Switch keyboard for $16. I can't complain too much. It's so far looking pretty good. Now, what if I told you 
We got a name brand product here. A G102. We have a G102, <laughs> a mouse that I have never heard of. I don't think I've ever heard of it because I know that the 302 or whatever it is, but this is even more budget question mark. Or it's maybe an international version of it. Oh, that's Could a be a thing. A lot of stuff on AliExpress is stuff that's meant to be sold in other countries, mainly like China, but then they sell it on AliExpress to people in the US. So it ends up being a good deal sometimes. Oh, it's just dirty. I was going to say, is, it, is, is it crusty? It's a little crusty, but I mean, it's not bad. So yeah, oh, oh yeah, G102, I thought I said something different. The G102 Light Sync Gaming Mouse, so I guess it's gonna have lights on it. It has, uh, don't forget to take these off, guys. It's little feet covers. Now the thing that's gonna blow your all's mind, how much do you think that mouse was? I wouldn't think more than like $15. $8. Oh. An $8 Logitech mouse, which I thought was pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, they do have some budget ones here in the US that are like 15 to 20 bucks, but an $8 mouse from a name brand like Logitech? I don't know. When we get that plug up to the PC, we'll see what the RGB is like, but so far it's looking pretty promising. He's, 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 he's determined he's gonna get that peel off. Well, Logitech mouse, unboxed. Um, monitor or headset? Headset. This is from Fifine, a company we've known a long time actually, mm -hmm. uh, for their budget USB mics, but now they have the Ampla Game H6 gaming headset and it has a smiley face on it. Isn't it adorable? So we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. And inside we have a headset. Oh goodness. That has a lot of different oh. options here. And look, look at, at that. the size of that freaking thing. That's so cute. It's adorable. But look at all this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It's huge. So it says 7.1 on that with an EQ button. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, can so you get the base? up the volume, change it to 7.1, I guess, and then EQ, maybe you change different audio profiles. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I guess that's why it's so big. It's like a mini little like audio DAC mixer almost. or DAC, yeah. Um, and then we have a USB connection. So it's only USB, does it come with an adapter? No, it does not. So USB only, and we have a detachable microphone. Ooh. Here, you gotta try it on. You see, it's pretty premium. Does it feel pretty good? Very comfy. Very right. comfy. So this headset, we'll, we'll do guess the price. Jonah, what do you think the price of this headset is? 15, not, 15 or 19, one of the two. Okay. I'm gonna say like 13. This is one of the more expensive items actually, $29. <laughs> oh. $29 for Smiley good. Face headset. It, it feels good. I mean, if you buy that on Amazon for 30 bucks, you might be happy with it. I don't know. It's time to see what this monitor is all about. I'm I excited. Like the claw marks. Yeah, the inside. claw marks. I'm excited. Well, not super excited, but it's a monitor <laughs> that, um, it's sold on Amazon pretty regularly, and this was the first thing to show up when we ordered all this stuff. I will say this video has been in the works for about two months. But um, yeah, basic 24 inch, 165 Hertz. Try to get very similar monitors on Timu and AliExpress. All right, what would you say is the price of this monitor? So we got a thin bezel, got a pretty, pretty good looking uh, rear side, if you will. And um, <laughs> 110? Jonah? I'm gonna go uh, 100 bucks. 125. Yeah. Mm. Not amazing. This was free shipping though, and I'm imagining it's not shipping from it outside the US. Cheap. There are a couple things on AliExpress that they call choice products, which are like ships in 14 days or less or something like that. And I think this was one of them. So they might actually be held in like a warehouse exactly. here. Exactly. Oh, so that, oh. that part's toolless, which is nice. I got it, don't worry. Oh yeah, I trust that. Oh, that sounds that pretty good. Sturdy. Look how quick that was. No right. tools required. Pretty. <laughs> It's a pretty easy setup to put together, actually. But yeah, this is a little over $200 setup. Wow. We got the monitor, we got the keyboard, the mouse, the headset and everything, but we need to see how it all works together. We're gonna bring out the big guns, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the big guns oh. is the Timu Wish AliExpress combo PC that is still here. It is still here, guys. Can you believe it? It's still here. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Can we even use any of the USB ports? Uh, we need to fix that, because uh, look at the USB ports right here. Um, the, these are all unusable, all the USB 2 are. Only the USB 3 is usable, so we need to fix that. But before we get into some testing, let's go ahead and take a look at that Timu setup, because I'm really excited about this one. We have two bags. I need a knife. <laughs> two bags. Timu.com, ladies and gentlemen. At least they're efficient. They shove everything in two bags to your door, ready to go. It may or may not work, but it's gonna make it there. But we're gonna go ahead and open up this Timu setup that we did spend a little bit more money on, but it's very color coordinated. So let's open this first. Oh, it's Habit. I know this brand. Shout out Habit. What the heck? Oh wait, there's two things. That... What is this, a mouse? All right, so I guess we're opening the mouse. Let's see. I just wanna, this is, is that what this is? What is? Th oh, it is a mouse. Oh yeah, so we got the oh, mouse. It's wireless? Wireless gaming mouse. Oh, Let me go ahead and pull up the prices of this thing. This is, uh, <laughs> it says it's HISO? So this is, 
<laughs> I don't know if you know this, Brandon. If you do, congrats. Yo, what is the bottom of this? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I did not notice what? that. Is that how they're doing lightweight? They're just like- It is light, but if- Oh my, oh my God. God, that is crazy. The brand is HXSJ. <laughs> so, I mean, have you heard of them before? <laughs> no, but this logo looks like mad familiar, man. It's like a little, it's like scorpion. little scorpion. I swear we've seen this before. I feel like we have. Uh, honestly, I'm getting flashbacks to that Walmart bracket like mouse video. Like I feel like we saw a mouse with that <laughs> scorpion on it, but this is crazy. I've never seen that before. Although, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm like, could there even be, like if y'all light this, is there a battery in there? There has to be. This has to be a real mouse, right? It's so light. What if this was a prop? That'd be pretty funny <laughs> if we just got like a prop. Um, I guess we'll plug it up when we get to that point, but do you want to know how much this mouse was? I'm going to say like 10. 1998. 1998, it is a lightweight wireless mouse in black. It comes in a wide range of colors. We don't even know if it works, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I have it set to on and it's, I, I'm not even getting an optical sensor. I'm so gonna it's, assume it's dead dead. But yeah, we'll, that's what we'll, we'll hope for. We'll get there. Um, I guess we'll open up the headset because we have it right here. Have it, create for game. Now, if you're picking up on a theme here, I tried to go black and red or just red in general for most of the stuff. So we got the mouse with a little bit of red in action. This right here is a very red headset. I'm just hoping the reds are kind of close. Oh my God, it's already off. That's white and red, man. Well, I knew there was gonna be at least one white product, but <laughs> white and red? That Whoa. red is insane. Whoa. All right, so we got our Habit headset and they're proud of that. I mean, they got the Habit, they're big. What is the, oh, it's the mic. I was like, why is it on here? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, reminds me of that HyperX Cloud 2. It looks very comfy. I'll give it that. It, it, it feels like it'd be comfy. It looks like a really nice. So we got detachable mic. the mic. biggest little, like, <laughs> it's so big. That thing's going to cancel some noise, oh I'll tell you. Oh, my God. I think the other one's comfier. Is it really? I, I never tried on the other one, so he's going to be the ultimate noise judge. Cancels. I mean, it really annoys me. It's cancels. got those big ear cups. Yeah. Not super not heavy. Bad. It does pinch a little bit, but not too bad. This one actually ha is not USB. Okay. Dual audio jacks. Guess the price of this one. Man, based on this aluminum, I'm going to say like 18. 15. Y'all just don't know what Timu's worth. This is $35. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Timu.com, ladies and gentlemen, $35. Yeah, we did spend more money on Timu, if you couldn't tell. It was like 30 bucks more versus AliExpress because this was the, well, best I could find for the price. Stuff is getting expensive on there. They think they're bigger than they are. Timu, you need to watch yourself. Oh, right. there's another, there's a Timu bag in here. We cut it last time. Okay, so we'll try to keep the Timu bag. <laughs> oh, look at that. With, with the ear, with the ear. Ooh, oh wait, I feel like we've seen this before. This looks familiar. It's all a different uh, color. It's just me or is it very narrow? It's, it's a little skinny. A little, a little skinny. It's like the, the first run of uh, desk pads that we got. They were a little skinny. It's not like the super XL size. No, no, it's, they're, they're uh, super skinny. Super skinny. This was $10, by the way. We got... <laughs> the schnippendurry. <laughs> the schnippendurry. Elegance, wisdom, b benevolence. <laughs> That sounds like a Dracula flow line. <laughs> Benevolence, guys. <laughs> Benevolence. This thing's been through it, by the way. Yeah, dude. This thing is like squished. I saw type C and that's all I needed to see. So this is a 60% keyboard with, again, Ooh. I tried to tell you, I was trying to do some red here. These so, reds are all kinds of different. They're all different though. So this might not work very well. This might be worse than if I just didn't color coordinate this, honestly. So yeah, it should have red switches. It's a 60% keyboard. What do you think the price of this one is? It is a USB-C detachable again. 20. Well, now the other one was like 18, right? It was really cheap. Yep. 25. 25.98. Oh. Jonah's the winner. He's on it. Let's see Dude, these, these reds are so off. <laughs> oh, I did you meant the switches? Oh yeah. They feel like reds. What are these? So we got a cherry stem style in there. Uh, they're B sun. Gosh, bussin. We're bussin again, bussin'. ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's listen. I want to say it sounds more like a linear switch than a. Um, yeah. The bottoming outside is bad. It's not bad. I will say it. Stabilizers are better on this one. Yeah. We are paying a premium, $25.98 at teamu.com. Is the monitor all that's left? Oh yeah, yes, it's just it the is. monitor. Wow, we've yeah. just been zooming right through this. The this monitor. Is easy. Now the monitor, guys, is the Xiaomi monitor, which I believe it's the same monitor from the last setup because they only have like two monitors on Timu right now. <laughs> so this is the Xiaomi monitor, which is a 24 inch 165 Hertz. Very competitive to the other one we've yes, seen. Yes, very competitive. Except I don't think this one's on Amazon, right? No, this one is definitely a Timu exclusive. But um, yeah, this this monitor should be pretty comparable. I was trying to get monitors in the same size and like spec range as each other, like AliExpress and Timu. And I'll be interested to see which one has like bad ghosting, which one has better viewing angles and things like that. Why is this so warm inside this package? Oh, why is it? It is really warm. It's like warm. really warm. Um, so here's the stand and everything. 
Oh, this, this is a weird bag for cables. I haven't seen that Ooh, before. I think this one might use tools, man. Yeah, yeah it uses freaking tools. Oh, I remember this. They put the factory calibration on there. Oh. Look at them. Going above and beyond to show you guys. This is color calibrated. Smile. It definitely was a better option than what Wish had to offer when we did the Wish version of this challenge. Tighten that up. Look at you using the tool it came with. Look at me just sliding the monitor across the desk while I tighten it too. Yeah. Look at that. Does that look scratched up to you? <laughs> McAllister put a big gash across it. <laughs> Does that look scratched up to you? Um, honestly, not bad. I will say the reds are not exactly matching. Um, <laughs> but what do you think? Does this look worse or better than the other one? Dude, this is the uh, counter terrorist. I agree. The other one looked better if the keyboard wasn't blue, but you know what, Alex yeah, Press? That's their, fault. that's their fault. Or me. I don't I, I thought I ordered a black one, but you know what? I'm not gonna put the full blame on AliExpress. Who knows what happened there? Nice setup. Looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna test both of these setups. We're gonna test the Timu setup, the AliExpress setup, and see which one is the best and which one you should spend your hard-earned money on. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're playing Overwatch 2. And, uh, you know, this is my first time testing out this setup. And, oh my god, the mouse, dude. The <laughs> mouse has the lift off like that. Does bad. it? It's a Logitech mouse that has the lift off. Yeah, does it have weights in it? This thing's heavy. It's, it's I'm complaining a lot already. Yeah, this AliExpress setup is a, a mismatch of a lot of different things. And so far, um, the mouse ain't looking good. It was $8, though, but I kind of expected more from something that had Logitech's name on it. Oh my god, dude, do you see, like, when I'm going to lift up, like, the amount of waviness I'm getting? It's oh. crazy. I will say the headset and the monitor um, and the the the, uh, the keyboard I was trying to think of the name here those are all really nice like I'm liking all the other peripherals I just I can't stand the mouse right now M maybe you'll find similar uh, disenjoyment I'll be playing CS with it so oh, dude, it's that's probably gonna be fun. I'm gonna miss everything. every time you go to reset that shot mm. okay so one thing that is really cool about this headset is um, and I'm still kind of learning you have like these equalizers on the side which I'm, I'm on the one that seems to have the most bass um, and I turned on the 7.1 channel setting. <laughs> I will be honest, I don't really know if it made the audio better. It just sounded a little louder and maybe more crystal clear. I don't know. But it definitely isn't like a huge difference or anything. But the equalizer setting is really cool. I don't know when you'd ever want to change it. Unless you're like, you don't like bass in certain things. But it sounds really good. I guess it's, it makes up for the fact that it's a chunky inline is, cable thing. It is so chunky. It is chunky. Dude, but I guess it's I cool. I hate this mouse. Honestly, I, I see all this other stuff. I think the mouse pad's the best part. I, I really like that mouse pad. I agree. Oh. But is that a good redeeming quality for a setup if the mouse pad's the best part? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at I'm the back curious. some more in a minute here, maybe. That might maybe be used or something? Or used, yeah, I don't know. We'd have to have one of those to compare, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure if we read some of the back labeling, maybe we can figure out. Although, I'm sure that, um, if they wanted to fake a mouse, they would have bought the real thing and kind of like at least somewhat reverse engineered it. Yeah, Logitech normally has really good sensors. Like even on their cheap mice, their sensors are really good. So I, I really wouldn't, okay, this is a great power up. <laughs> that was, I'm, I'm glad they waited till I was like out and fighting to power me up. <laughs> Dude, I hate it. She's such a good counter, man. All right, here we go. A time, character where I have to aim even more. This is genius. There are a lot of reviews on AliExpress of this mouse saying it is a copy. Really? That it's not the original. Yeah, there because there, there's no way that this is real. It says it's not the same weight as the original. DPI settings are not as good. I think it's way too heavy. I think it came with a fake copy of G-Hub. Oh no. <laughs> Do not install G-Hub <laughs> fake. If they wanted to fake a mouse, they would have bought the real thing and kind of like at least somewhat reverse engineered it. Yeah, Logitech normally has really good sensors. Like even on their cheap mice, their sensors are really good. <laughs> that was, I'm, I'm glad they waited till I was like out and fighting to power me up. <laughs> Dude, I hate it. She's such a good counter, man. Right. There will be no flicking done on this mouse. Ow, ow my. <laughs> I feel like we got what we needed. We're just letting yeah. this man finish. Dude, I, I, I have to, this is Matt's account, man. We, we need to win this. All right, guys. Well, now that we've tested this out, um, I think we have enough gameplay. We're going to go ahead and move on to CS2. All right. We're in CS2, and I'm, I'm ready excited. to see what this mouse is all about. Because at, oh, least, in, oh, at wow. least in my game, oh, I didn't boy. have to aim a whole lot, you know? Oh, you, like, this is all aiming. I'm whipping out the op. I have to be true to my word. The audio seems... Do I have this on backwards? The audio seems <laughs> backwards. What? Let's go! Okay, I got one. Oh, he's already getting killed. These headphones are nice, though. 
Yeah, the mouse is uh, not great for a counterfeit mouse. The keyboard feels fine though. This was like a really good deal, honestly. Um, I wish we got it in the black color scheme it would make the setup look a lot better, but um, pretty solid. And I would say the monitor's nice. I'm very impressed with the monitor. I'm always scared with these no-name brand high refresh rate monitors. So pretty dang good so far. I'm scared. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, good. one more life. This is it. It's the final countdown. And I'm dead. Yeah, um, not great so far. Hopefully the Timu one is a bit more redeeming because this mouse kind of kills it for me. It's time for Timu. Yay. This does not feel like high refresh rate. I swear I put 165 Hertz, but it does not feel like it. The other one's smoother. I will say though the monitor is brighter, but I don't know. This doesn't feel like 165 Hertz to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. We'll have Jackson test it and see, but it just does not feel like 165 Hertz. This mouse does not have the, uh, okay, it kind of does. A little bit. It kind of has the liftoff issue where if you raise it, I'll show Jonah here. If you go like this, mm, yep, yeah. look at it go. Whee! It might not be quite as bad. It's not as bad, honestly, but I don't know, let's see. This keyboard feels good though. And this guy just tried to knife me, how dare you? I think this keyboard's definitely much more premium than the other one. I know we paid more money, so I'd sure hope so. Uh, feels more premium. Um, this color scheme doesn't really work well together. Uh, it was a good idea on paper, but it's kind of a little too much in my opinion. The minty green PC with it. Yeah, well the minty green PC is definitely not gonna, gonna work with this, but um, this is good. Mouse pad, little too narrow, wish it was wider. Um, but all in all, I feel like this is better than the AliExpress setup, but is that really saying much right now? Oh, he's knifing. <laughs> oh! I hear feet everywhere. Ah, oh, they're above me. Oh, 60 hertz. Ah, that's why. Here we go. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, but it's it's not amazing, but that like, is definitely high refresh rate now. I got like a little blurry in a way. Now it's high refresh rate, you can really see you getting headshotted like in I can smooth. I can see myself getting destroyed. I'm telling you, it's overpassed. The, the demons on this map. I'm playing CS scared. You can't play CS scared. You have to be a confident animal like Jonah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> mm. One more life and I'll stop. Another oppa. This is the last run. Oh. Let's go! And let's not go. I think this is better than the AliExpress setup. That's all I'm gonna say right now, but I gotta let Jackson play Overwatch and see <laughs> if it's any better. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a we need a pro's opinion. <laughs> All right, guys, we're playing a little bit of Overwatch 2 because, you know, we got we got to see if Matt's right about this being the best setup. And, you know, so far, just based on how good the, the mouse is comparatively, I'm already liking a lot better. This one's actually, like, lightweight, and it's not trying to copy a name brand mouse. And we did realize it is wireless. He's using it wireless right now, so we got that going yes. for us. Yeah, which I, I, I don't understand how it's wireless. Like, it looked like it shouldn't be wireless to me. It's wireless, but it's not. It's wireless, but it's not. But it definitely is wireless. The wire's there. I think I like this keyboard better too, actually. It feels a little bit more sturdy. Like the red switches have less wobbly to them. Oh, Ryan, oh, no. He gave no, Ryan the Papa suck. Ryan. Yeah, one thing I'm not liking is this mouse. Like if you actually pick it up at any kind of angle at all, it like catches. It has like rough edges. I like my mice round. Ribbed for your pleasure. He has the juice. He's got the juice. Oh God, I hear Genji ult. I hear Genji. Oh. Get away from me, Ryan. Oh, God. Ugh. Bro, he's hunting me down. Where's my teammates at? You need to heal, cuz? You really don't, but I'm gonna give you one of this. We're gonna get it today. Oh, God. I, I, I am voting with Matt that I think this setup overall as a whole is better, but neither one are great. Like, it, you know, the overall experience was like, what happens if we buy setups and put them against each other? And I think for the price that we paid, when you compare to like Amazon, Newegg, eBay, I think we could have done better with the local markets. Um, but if you're in another country, maybe this could be feasible for you. Okay guys, we have benchmarked on both setups, AliExpress versus Timu, and I think we finally have a conclusion. I think Jackson and I are team Timu when it comes to this setup, but Jonah had an interesting point. He was saying if we swap the mouse out with the AliExpress setup, it would definitely be the winner, and that's pretty <laughs> pretty dumb. <laughs> and honestly, that's a pretty good point because this, well, fake Logitech mouse is probably the one thing we hate the most. We love the mouse pad, the keyboard's good, the monitor's fine. A little bit dim compared to the Timu monitor, but the headset's pretty good as well. So yeah, these setups are, well, hit or miss. There are pros and cons to each one, but let us know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. 
So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Both of these setups will be for sale at PCBros.tech. We do have an in-person store, so you can actually come check them out and try them for yourself. PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and as Jackson mentioned, we have a store. You can walk in and buy full setups ready to go. Use code TOSTYBROS2 and check out to save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.